We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Posse Comitatus Act makes it illegal for the military to roam the streets of America, subjugating the law enforcement duties of local and state law enforcement. Obama, like he has done with virtually all laws. And I've told my administration, we're going to look every single day to figure out what we can do without Congress. His civilian national security force that he promised to create while campaigning in 2008 is now coming to fruition. In a video that has gone viral, former Marine Colonel Pete Martino testified before a local New Hampshire City Council meeting as to whether the city should purchase armored vehicles for their local police force. He testified how local and state law enforcement, not to mention the Department of Homeland Security, has become indistinguishable from the military. That Obama's civilian national security force has arrived. What's happening here is we're building a domestic military because it's unlawful or unconstitutional to use American troops on American soil. So what we're doing is we're building a military. My best friend, who's a SWAT officer in Nashua, who came to Iraq with me to train the Iraqi police, sent me an email with a picture of him in the media on the streets of Watertown, Mass, wearing the exact same combat gear that we had in Iraq, only it was a different color. And what, the way we do things in the military is called task organization. You take a command, and then you attach units to it in order to accomplish the mission. What's happening is Homeland Security is pre-staging gear, equipment, consistent. What they're trying to do is use standardized vehicles, standardized equipment. I saw a picture in the Boston Globe during the marathon bombing where there was a state police officer. Actually, there were two officers. They both had identical helmets, flak jackets, weapons, everything I wore in Iraq, only it was all blue. The officer on one side had a big patch on his back that said Massachusetts State Police. Another officer next to him, his patch said Boston Police. And so what we're doing here, and let's not kid about it, we're building a domestic army and we're shrinking the military because the government is afraid of its own citizens. Yes, Americans have become the new enemy. Remember Al-Qaeda? Those are the guys who flew airplanes into the World Trade Center on 9-11. Weren't they supposed to be America's enemies? Now the so-called rebels in Syria openly identify as Al-Qaeda, and they're being gorged with millions of dollars in weapons by the Obama administration. But everyday Americans have become the new enemy, and Obama's civilian national security force is just getting started. Let us remember that not only was a militarized police roaming the streets of Watertown after the Boston Marathon terrorist attack, but de facto martial law was declared. They were looking for an unarmed teenager, Yahar Zaharnov. Citizens were confined near their homes, and hundreds of militarized police conducted house-to-house -house searches, illegal searches. Citizens were taken into custody without being charged with a crime. If one unarmed teenager can put an entire metropolitan area under martial law, then no city is safe under the rogue Obama administration. You, conservative America, have become public enemy number one. Fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Transforming fundamentally transforming fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. 
History does repeat itself. The question is, will you let it happen to you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, or quite simply, your fellow human beings? Or will this be just another chapter in history where a sheep-like mass has allowed tyrants to rise to power by just listening to their charismatic speeches and paying no mind to their actual actions? Now, one thing we do have in our favor that the other sheep-like masses that were killed off by tyrants did not have. That is the power of the information age, the ability to compile information and share it rapidly, broadly, with simply a couple keystrokes. So I ask you now, will you heed the warnings, the truths within this video and spread it to your fellow human beings? and let them know that they need to be clearly prepared to fight this tyranny? Or will you deny the very information in this video? Let it pass you by. Will you sit on your laurels and just let it all happen? It's at this time that it's up to you. So get ready. Get your family ready. Get your friends ready. Get your neighbors ready. Get humanity ready to fight this tyranny.